can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. What, for protection? Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. I think it is really dangerous for us to be lying on the real track like that. Can we build like another that. pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm freaked out. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Oh, Anyway, okay. Frank and I kind of hung out. Um... We know he's a bad boy, but hung out. out. Under what circumstances? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and ah. I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think he helped Nathan out in the Vortex Club and did something to Rachel. Her. Yes. Gotta be careful around I this guy. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Because of certain deaths? Kerouac <laughs> knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Whoa. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm stuck! Shit. Come on, Chloe. How is she stuck? Come on. It's her foot, okay. What's that noise? The train. Oh, shit. Come on. Cut off whatever. I don't want to die here! Okay, what, what is what was holding her down? Chloe out like a superhero. Move! What can I do? Find something! Free me! A saw? Cut off a foot! Come on, Max! Hurry! Ah, uh, shit. Oh, there we go. Fuse box, sweet chin lever. What can I do here? Come on! Please, get me out of here! It won't budge. I it won't fucking budge. Inch. Awesome, it's not locked. Cool, huh? Oh, we have to do some rewiring. Shit. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Tool, 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 tool. Here. The train's coming! Crowbar! Crowbar! Max, please! Crowbar! I can definitely use this bad boy. Alright, come, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to use my superpowers for this. 
I don't want to know what's going to happen. Wait, how? I can't. I didn't even move it with this crowbar? For real? Shit! Fuck. Oh my freaking god. That is not good. You have to go back further. Alright, come on. Something to cut. Here? Something to cut. Open Shit, the damn door. I can't budget at all. Got a crowbar, crowbar. Uh, score. Oh, the door will be black. Oh shit. I was trying to be uh, smart here. Score. Come on. Something to cut. Something to cut. Drawer. Pliers, pliers, pliers! There we go, pliers. Take, take, take. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Wait, wait, why am I rewinding time? Rewind further. I've got the tools. I just have to figure out which one to cut. Um, but which wire to cut? Green! Go! Max! Oh, stupid light! No go! Oh, shit! Rewind. Yellow? But which wire to cut? Short Circuit City. Not good, I guess. Please get me out of here. Red. Definitely a red which now. Which wire to cut? There now we that's go. That's the right cable. Max! Oh, chill, girl. I yes, gotcha. I did it. No! Oh, holy shit, that was close. Oh. You okay? You <laughs> saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. How did you get yourself stuck oh, there? That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. That is nice to know. Chloe. Um, we just hung out with her for half a day and so many shit has gone down. I'm pretty sure nothing else will go wrong. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Exactly. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <laughs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about it? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswife. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect a example small of town strange girl. attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Cool. Let's get back to class. <laughs> Enter the Vortex Club. 
this October. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. That's the principal. Sir? So oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Have the sweetest I don't think you can do anything about it either. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. David? I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. We're not in terms here, Mr. Principal. You're blinded by Prescott family. And I really hope that's not the case, but... Um... What can I say, right? <laughs> You're the principal, I'm just a student here with superpowers. Can we go into the washroom? I don't think so. Zachary? Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. Uh, I won't. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama, even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. She's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. See ya. Okay. Um, Samuel? What about this? What hey, is Courtney. all these, Courtney? Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. You never know. I'm not anti soiree You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. I'll show you a bitch. <laughs> hey, Courtney. Ciao. Really? Oh, like you... I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. All right. Um, I, I'm, I don't really care about the posters, Samuel. Story for threading on whatever you are sweeping there. Uh... <laughs> Dude, are you okay? something in your eye I can't we can't talk to him so I uh, will just leave him there what are you girls doing shouldn't you be in class or something how oh, hello David excuse me mr. Madsen do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe you hit Chloe I'm sure she told you why did she what? mention she probably stole one of my guns you're a combat Probably. veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, I think this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Okay, David. We'll just leave it as that for now. Warren, what's up? Sci-Fi Lab, Schrodinger's Kitty, see you soon. Hey girl, okay. I still okay. have time. 
I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Where is... Some weed from Nathan. Oh, here it is. Miss Grant, hey. There he is. Oh, man. What a nerd. <laughs> I mean, like, he reminds me of old uh, Sheldon Cooper Big, from Big, Big Bang Theory. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. We can help. Let's add some potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Oh goody. <laughs> what a way, right, to, to give up price. Weird science. Oh no, I guess the sodium then. What are you mixing here? Can't be that hard. Hey Warren. Maxwell Silver ha asking me I have to add either a bit of potassium. Sodium? I have a vision. Go Dium. I have a Dium? Oh god, That's I think it's a lot I've of ever potassium. Heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Boom. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Guess not, guys. It's a lot of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. Lots of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Ooh. <laughs> nice animation. She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Where's my hug? Warren? Where is my laugh, hug? He looks so hilarious. Yes! That was a blast! Cool. I what? guess that's let's it keep for it a our professional session here. Secret. Cool. Brook. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, let's get out of here. I want Head to you can't help me. Oh. I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. What's going what? on? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Kate? Kate, hey. Hey, Kate. Uh, friend, what's Just up? Leave me alone. Oh, God. What the hell, Mr. Jefferson? What did you do? I thought you were better than that. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Um, Kate is freaked out? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I yes, have, actually. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel, too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was pri- no, it's not private. It did happen. Think. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? Is he I would never the make something like well? this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should this I- This entire place is filled Excuse with drama. Me, Max. Hello. 
Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Did that door just open by itself? Sure. What okay. the fuck? Is this Is this place haunted? I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mhm. Mm okay. I'll do that. Oh, it, I know. That makes sense. Huh? Mm -mm. We're eavesdropping, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I I tend to do that. Maybe He's up to something, Mr. Jefferson. Bo. Bo. Dana, I'm kind of doing something now, right? Max. You look like ass. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure. Oh, she'll God. What? What are they doing here? Like what is Nathan doing here? Fun.